Today, we're going to help you by looking at your relationship with your bank. Now, I know it's Valentine's Day, and that would normally be a time to look at things that you love. But the truth is, most people don't love their bank. And a new survey out from McGraw-Hill Federal Credit Union basically suggests that over 70% of Americans say they would like to break up with their bank. And not surprisingly at all, about 40% of the over 1,000 people surveyed said their big reason is the high fees. Here to discuss bank relationships and the survey and everything else is Sean Gilfetter. He is the chief executive officer for McGraw-Hill Federal Credit Union. And if you want more information, it is McGraw-HillFCU.org. Sean Gilfetter, welcome to Money Life. Great. Thanks, Chuck. I appreciate the opportunity on Valentine's Day to be here to talk about better banking alternatives. Well, the fact is, I'm not sure there are that many people that love their bank. There was some some bank a few years ago who did some advertising campaign about people who love their bank. But the truth is that most folks are going to kind of withhold their emotions until something goes wrong. So I'm not sure that too many people love their bank. The question is, what do people do to have a good relationship with their bank that they're not doing now? Well, Chuck, I, I think there's a, you know, a great opportunity for individuals to improve their uh, financial wellness. And when I refer to financial wellness, what I'm really uh, talking about specifically is having a better understanding of what their needs are and what opportunities exist out in the marketplace today to improve their financial health. And with uh, yields being as as um, as thin as they are, and the returns on uh, savings accounts are are hard to come by, uh, people have to be conscious of how uh, you know hidden fees and the fine print of agreements uh, eat into their opportunities to improve their uh, financial health. And and quite honestly, it's a it's a challenge in today's marketplace, and many consumers and many individuals that we've come across have been uh, disenfranchised by their financial institutions because of the uh, fee structure and the fine print of many of the agreements that they have. Now, the fun part of your survey was that when asked to compare dealing with their bank to unpleasant or onerous interactions, people, 36% of folks said it was like dealing with their in-laws uh, another 30% said it was like dealing with the cable guy, 25% compared it to the IRS, and about that many to the dentist. Now, the flip side of that was that more than 70% said they are likely or extremely likely to break up with their bank if they were offered a, a better alternative. Yet, I don't believe that that many people actually would. What's stopping folks from making a change? You don't like, the, uh, the, you don't like what's going on, but you're not changing it. Well, Chuck, it's, it's Valentine's Day, and, and what better day to, to evaluate how good your relationships are. And, and if you know, the, the person that has all of your money, if they don't love you, what better opportunity for you to look at you know, other organizations that are willing to uh, provide you an opportunity for love? So you know, 71% of individuals, uh, the challenge is, is really um, you know, how sticky – uh, their relationships uh, that they've created with the financial institutions that they're doing business with. So, um, you know, many people are challenged by, you know, unwinding uh, bill payment and some of the other products and features that they have. And what we'd like to share with them is that, um, you know, equate an hourly, you know, rate of return to themselves. So determine how much they're paying, you know, per month. So if the fee structure of an account that they have is, you know, $15 per month, you know, $180, would they be able to spend, you know, two hours of their time, you know, setting up their account, uh, us helping them set up an account, and them realizing, you know, the, that, that $180 is now coming back to them in, in better interest rates and low fee structure. So, you know, many times those individuals just don't know where to turn, and there's a better banking alternative out there um, today, we feel, you know, credit unions provide that that alternative. The other side of this is that so many of the folks who are getting into banking relationships, who your survey said are unhappy, are folks who are younger. 
They are the people who kind of took whatever they could take when they were 18 to 29 and first signing up with things and they didn't necessarily pay attention. Is some of this is developing a happy relationship one of those things that is kind of like dating? It's a bit trial and error before you find the one who's going to be a lifetime partner? Well, a lot of the large money center institutions want you to believe that you need to have a, a branch open on a Sunday. Um, what's really interesting for that, that age demographic is that they don't really need the physical locations. Uh, many of our uh, members are utilizing our services via remote channels. So um, mobile applications, remote deposit capture, uh, iPad apps, uh, online banking, um, you know, it gives an individual the opportunity to, to perform the function of banking at their leisure, at their convenience, versus, you know, the advertising that, that's out there today that, that tends to make people believe that, that they need a physical location to go do business. So we're finding that, you know, that age demographic really likes the remote service channel and, you know, the experience uh, itself uh, really helps them improve their, their financial wellness because it actually promotes, um, you know, financial tools to help them better manage their, their experience. So for those, in, for those individuals, um, you know, to change their, their uh, better banking experience, you know, we ask them to, uh, you know, come to some of our literacy events to understand what opportunities exist in the, in, within the marketplace. And there's no question that the more you understand about the relationship with your bank, the better off you're going to be, whether it's bank, credit union, or what have you. That's why we've been talking with Sean Gilfeder. He's chief executive officer for McGraw-Hill Federal Credit Union. They did the survey on people being unhappy and wanting to break up with their banks. For more information, it's McGraw-HillFCU.org. Sean Gilfeder, thanks for joining me on Money Life.